When things begin to go awry between hospitals and contracted medical groups, the following are the sort of complaints that hospitals levy. One, your group has no leadership. Two, your group is dysfunctional. Three, we pay you too high of a stipend, you're just too expensive. Four, there's no or, or there's poor alignment between your group and the hospital's interests. Five, your group is not responsive to our valid complaints. Six, your group never creates new value for the hospital. You're just not proactive. And seven, your group refuses to change with the times. In fact, it's even worse than that in that these same issues are the selling points that aggressive groups of all sorts, and not just true medical groups, but also contract management companies and staffing services use to try to disrupt the relationship between the hospital and the incumbent group. Now you know what your competitors are going to say. And you also know that those things are music to the hospital CEO's ears. So start changing the tune now. Make each of those points as to your groups lies that the CEO will simply see as marketing bullshit, not as the reason to schedule your competitor for a site visit.